Are you on the quest for a good body lotion? I am. I've tested quite a few on my YouTube channel and now I'm testing one of the most expensive ones that I've ever tried as well as one of the least expensive ones I've ever tried. I'm going to see how they do. People have told me how good Cetaphil is and I have never tried it. So this will be a brand new experience for me. I think I've used Suave before, various types of Suave lotion. But I don't think I've used the Advanced Therapy Lotion, so I thought this might be a good comparison here. The Cetaphil, it, I got the Daily Advanced Lotion with Shea Butter. If you look on there, one says for body and face, and I got the one that's for dry, sensitive skin because I figured that it for body is going to be a little bit more intense than for face. It's supposed to give you 24 hour hydration, as is the Swab Advanced Therapy Lotion. Both of them are dermatologist tested. The price difference, the Cetaphil was $15.64 at Walmart, making it the most expensive body lotion I have ever tried. The Walmart at the same, the um, swab at the same time was $3.93 at Walmart, making it far less expensive, far more affordable. Looking at the back of the package, the Cetaphil says that it has nine moisturizers and skin essential vitamins E and B5. Again, it's supposed to hydrate sensitive skin for 24 hours. The Suave Advanced Therapy Lotion, getting a glare, has rich hydrators and essential vitamins to relieve dry skin, even on tough areas like elbows and knees. So we'll see. Here's a close-up of the ingredients of the Cetaphil. The first ingredient is water. The second ingredient is glycerin. Here's the manufacturer's information. Here's the ingredients for the Suave. The same water and glycerin. And it's manufactured by Unilever. See how they do. Here's one squirt of each. The Cetaphil is on the top. The Suave is on the bottom. So you can see the difference in the texture. I hope you can. Here's a different angle. The Cetaphil is unscented. The Suave has very slight little scent. Excuse my nails. I'm letting them heal up by not putting any product on them. So the Cetaphil is thicker. A little bit, not too much. I'm going to test the Cetaphil on one leg and the Suave on the other leg. See how they go. Just for consistency's sake, I'm going to keep the Cetaphil on the left leg and the swab on the right leg. See how far two scoops go. It goes on very nice. Unscented, very easy to apply. See how far two scoops of the swab goes. It does have a slight scent that I'm not too fond of. 
Yeah, really don't care for that scent. It smells medicinal almost. Not like menthol or spearmint medicinal, but like hospital medicinal. So I'm not seeing much of a visual difference in my old skin so far. I will give it some time and see how it I'll give it some time and see how it fares. I've used the Cetaphil on my left leg for three weeks and the swab on the right leg for three weeks. And my final take is the Cetaphil is much uh, thicker, it's much richer. The swab is a lot cheaper. It's not as thick or um, as moisturizing. Both take a really long time to dry. If I put them on in the morning, it's a full 10 minutes before I can put my clothes on. As far as hydrating my skin, I do think that the Cetaphil did a little bit better. I'm very old. Of course, it costs quite a bit more. There's not a visible difference, but when I touch it, my skin feels softer with the Cetaphil. Both of these products do leave um, like a film on my skin. I normally wear Bath and Body and it doesn't leave that uh, tackiness or that stickiness. These have a really thick, almost like a glycerin type feel on them. I learned that I was putting it on in the morning and at night and I can't put it on at night because it just, even if I let it dry for 10 minutes, it's still tacky and sticky and it just sticks to the sheet and feels really gross. I had that same experience when I tried to use Nivea in a test previously. It's just too rich to put on my skin at night and get in the bed on cotton sheets. I've also been using this on my neck and I think it's helped. So I like this. It's just really expensive. But I didn't use that much of it. It feels like there's a lot of product left in there. And this, of course, is far less expensive, but um, I've used that much. You do have to use a little bit more of this, this product. Would I buy the Suave again? Uh, probably not, because f even for $3.93, there's still some other lotions out there that are not sticky or tacky to me. And this one, it doesn't smell really, really nice. The Cetaphil doesn't have an odor. It's really thick. I might keep it to wear... Uh, before I got during the day and on my neck, if I do just that, it's going to last for a long time. I also use the Cetaphil on my arm and the Suave on this arm. I didn't feel dry or cracky, so they, they do moisturize. It's just they're probably a little too rich for me. This is not the richest one, but it's in the middle. And this one says it's going to relieve severely dry skin. Thanks for watching my review of the Cetaphil versus the Suave Skin Solutions Advanced Therapy Lotion. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video if appropriate, leave a comment about what you have tried and liked and didn't like so that we can become better consumers. Ooh, I got a scratch on my leg. I've been working out in the shop. I've got boo-boos all over my legs. Until next time, thank you very much. If you have time, watch an, another one of these videos. Thank you.